Hi, I'm Alo. Welcome to the series of Walk and Talk. Today we are going to talk to Dr. Anil, who is a physician and heads the Human Pharmacology Unit at Sinjin. Let's go and meet with Dr. Anil. Hi, Dr. Anil. Hi, Thanks Alo. for joining us today. Hi, Alo. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Dr. Anil, you have been there in the field of clinical research for the last 20 years. So, how have the requirements and the expectations of the clients evolved over the in years? In the last two decades, the Indian and the international regulatory uh, requirements have evolved immensely. So, we are expected to meet that and help our customers and clients to guide them at each step so that they can develop a robust dossier and submit and help them achieve their goals. And also, there's a huge improvements have happened in the analytical instrumentation in the last two, two decades. So this helps us to develop a more robust analytical methods and uh, do a good analysis. And also, there's a lot of importance has been given to GLP, GCP training, and also for the documentation, which we are expected to meet and uh, do a good documentation of all the steps of the studies. Great, so compliance to the regulatory requirements is one of the factors that's quite important for... Yes, we do meet all these international and national regulatory requirements. So Dr. Anil, tell me about some of the interesting work that we at Sindhina are doing in the clinical research space. So we have been doing complex bioequivalent studies and also we were doing many pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic studies in healthy volunteers and more so in biologics and also on the vaccine development program. The most of these studies are for national and international regulatory submissions. A small chunk of it are pilot studies. So we do the pilot studies as well? Yes, here. we do. Okay. So doctor, tell me about the way in which a typical HPU project is handled in Sinjin. The Sinjin's Human Pharmacology Unit has been operational in this current location for the last 15 years, we take care of full service, starting from the pre-study activities, study execution, and post-study activities till submission uh, of the study. And we typically, each study starts with the feasibility assessment and then development of uh, protocol, submission to ethics committee, submission to regulatory dossiers to get the approval and the execution of the study and post-study analysis and data management. We give a complete end-to-end -end services to our sponsors. So all this end-to-end -end spectrum of services are offered under one roof? Yes. Being, having all the facilities under one roof, including the biomedical lab, central lab, clinical unit, and data management, statistics, and regulatory FS group, we are able to provide end-to-end -end services for our sponsors. Great, great. So we conduct it in, in strict compliance with the GCP, GLP uh, guidelines, and we meet all the regulatory requirements of ANVISA, EMEA, USFDA, and more so DCJ. Sure. So we have seen our customers coming back to us uh, for their studies. So, so tell me, what makes Ingene unique? So we are one of the most stable uh, human pharmacology mean unit. We, the more of our employees are there since the inception, and we have an excellent track record, the regulatory submissions, and we believe in partnering with our sponsors than just a client-sponsor relationship. So we provide them a complete service and handhold them till the submission of the dossier to regulatory bodies. So we help our clients with the solutions for yes. the services. Yes. Okay. It was lovely talking to you, Dr. Anil. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. That was Dr. Anil talking to us about the developments in the clinical research space and Sinjin's contribution to generic drug development. Hope you enjoyed the talk. Thank you so much.